Hi, welcome to this small introduction. This uh, video explains how to set up FTR to work with the iRemote for FTR on the iPhone, how to set ports and settings, and how to make sure your firewall is configured correctly. What we're going to do first is set up and show you how to do it with Windows XP. So what we need to do first on Windows XP is we need to set up the FTR remote access. To do this you go to your C program files and access FTR for the record. If you scroll down here you'll find a program called FTR remote access.exe. Double click that, open it up, make sure it's selected for Ethernet port and then you need to select a port address. I've been using 10002 and that's all you need to do. Press OK and move on. Next, what we need to do is we need to set up to make sure the port is accessible in the firewall. To do this, we open up Control Panel, go to Windows Firewall, and then we go to Exceptions. We add a port, and this is where we put that port in. So we call it a name, put in our port number, 10002 in this case, as was set up previously. Select TCP and then press OK. Once you've done that, make sure that it's selected in the programs and services and you're ready to go. Okay, next uh, what we're going to do is set up and show you how to do this for Windows 7. So uh, to do this first, what we need to do is we need to go and set the firewall. So we open Control Panel and go to Systems and Security select uh, check uh, the Windows 4 firewall and then click on advanced settings once you've clicked on advanced settings and just bring this window in uh, next one you need to do is select your inbound rules and need to make sure there's a new rule selected and select port and press next and then make sure TCP is selected and put in your Port number again, 10002 I've been using. Um, allow all the connections and allow connections for many of your uh, types. Now we just call it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it FTR iRemote Access. And then just a quick description. So port used by the iPhone to start and stop recordings. Okay, so once we've completed that, we click finish, and now we need to go and set the application up, much the same as we did for XP. So open up Windows Explorer. I'm running Windows uh, 764 bit here. So my C drive, I need to go to Programs Files x86, uh, go to For the Record, and scroll down for FTR remote access. If you're running a 32-bit Windows 7, you'll only see program files there. So we open up the record remote access, just the same as before. We select Ethernet port, select our port address, make sure the protocol version is 3.3, press OK, and that's all you need to do to make it work for Windows 7. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.